What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli, you can call me Super Kid, and I'm here to welcome you to part 15.3 of World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays. Powerful people, if you're excited for this episode, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, comment anything you have to say to me, and share this video with anybody you think might like it. Please do those things, they help a lot. Anyways, powerful people, we gotta get right into it. We gotta see what this old god wants. Riots! Dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around the downtown area. The police are hopeless. That's not good. Time to go back to our home. Let's take the key. Of course, that's empty. Let's go bathe real quick. We'll fill the bottle up. And do we want more experience? Another point in reason. I think I'll go with the experience boost. Now, where will we go? Let's just drink this real quick. Why not, you know? Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. We should probably do this since uh, it might take so much doom. Yeah, let's do this one. Just to get the uh, information. Uh, Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akamanto. What was originally a harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game, but that only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Agreed. Um... Gather gossip. We must gather gossip. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks, dude. When Akamanto asks, which paper do you want, you must refuse anything. You're right. Thank you. You've heard some very, some versions of the legend. Everyone agrees you can't take anything the man offers you, though. I also agree with that. One of your friends says he doesn't believe in curses and he intends to complete the dangerous dare. What a dummy. Ooh, the upcoming exhibition again. The museum started hanging up posters promoting the Greek art exhibition, unaware of the danger. The opening night may prove to be the last night for us all, or for all of us. Etho 2 is coming and you know the, and now you know the date again, plus 3% doom plus 10 experience. You've reported it to your principal, who promises he will take care of it. With your friends safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city's library make mention of Akamanto. Maybe. Um, I wonder if I should buy something. I'll take a look. Foreign cigarettes. I don't hate the idea. Mm, yeah. I like it. We'll hold on to those for now. Um, okay. Investigation time. Gatsu Hakamura. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Continue looking. Perception check success. You quickly find the tombstone marked with red string. Under a stone, you find a note someone left for you. Plus five experience. Very good. All the missing girls were apparently members of the school's swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. Checking out school's pool area would be a good idea. You know, I think you're right about that. The computer room. You stumble upon the computer room. This is a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for anything that might help your investigation. Let's check it out. Knowledge check success. You find a curious text file containing occult instructions. You delete it, preventing anyone from trying it. Hell yeah, minus 2% do. I love that. 
One of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed life-saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet stall. Maybe he still works at the hospital and can share some information. Maybe. Art therapy. As a part of the therapy, some patients took part in an art classes. Some of their work fills you with dread, minus two reason. Shit, I don't like that. You learned that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all of the records with him. Why would he do that? That's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come to school today, and another body has supposedly been found. Fuck me, man. That ain't good at all. Oh, the park guest. Hello. Where you at, buddy? <gasps> First time I saw that, it, like, legitimately did kind of scare me. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Uh, the principal has ordered the school to be closed down for the investigation. Shit. Sounds serious, man. I'm delirious. I'm out of funds, too. Uh, I'll give you a jar of blood. Thanks, buddy. You break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there! Is this scorpion? Come on, y'all. Um... Truss. I think I'm gonna use this. Yeah. And we get a little bit faster. Uh... All combat actions are faster. Very good. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you are not the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she's getting closer. The young witch. She does four stamina damage, which is absolutely outlandish. Um... Son of a biscuit. Actually, we good. We're totally good. Look at that. Hey, wait, what's that? A steak knife? Aww. Thank you. The steak knife will not help me much. But, you know, you can have it and it, you can get stuff. Oh, shit. There is no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. The steak knife, you can, you can throw it at some people. You can, you can get certain uh, events have options based on it. Whatever, you know. Legend alive. You wait in the stall trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squeak. The sound of rubber boots. It reminds me so much of squeaky boots with SpongeBob. Uh, the sound of rubber boots and an unknown liquid dripping on the tiles. Squish, squeak. You can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squeak. The door slowly opens. A masked man dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from outside. Tell me. His voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like red paper or blue paper? I don't want anything from you. It's getting darker. Uh-oh. The tall man in the red coat slowly takes their mask off as w stall walls wither and rot and reality starts to crumble. It's Akamato's true form, he's hideous. Uh, <laughs> he, he's hideous. We can do nine damage at a time to him. He does three damage to all. The shaky knife will do three damage if we throw it at him. What does this do if we throw it? I still don't know. Um, let's see here. We gotta be reasonable here. Um, why not? I, I, I'm doing it. Um. We got that, and then 
70% chance to hit's not great. It's not horrible, but it isn't great. Okay, let's do that. Okay, he just hit me so hard. But... We got him. Boom. Shazam! Got him. When you wake up, you find yourself back in the toilet stall, thinking it was all it was all a dream. You stand up only to hear a crack under your shoe. From under your shoe, there lies a broken crimson mask. Akamato might return one day, but now you know that ancient horrors can be defeated. Ending A of the cro Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. You get 30 experience and 15 experience and minus 4% doom and one reason and one stamina and one day. But first of all, we're going to do this. Ghost Connection. Completing a mystery grants a random spell. Self-therapy. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. Huh. Ghost Connection sounds pretty cool, actually. And... Fuck it. Another knowledge, I suppose. Let's do that. Ghost Connection. I like that picture a lot. So did we get a spell for that? Oh, damn it. That's lame. Oh, well. Um, damn, we got 71 doom, but we just finished our third mystery. Anyways, powerful people. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to see what the old god has in store for us. I really hope you liked this one, though. If you did, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Leave any comments you have for me and uh, share this video with anybody you think might like it. Uh, those things all help out a ton and they are free and easy to do. So I would appreciate it. Uh, like I said, next time we will see what's up next for us. But until then, my name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, powerful people. Peace and love.